Combine, people consider Glamour Day the day when wide receivers and quarterbacks go through measurable drills. Well, those pro prospects think there's nothing glamorous about it. Quarterback Matt Stafford said he will not throw and plans to wait until his pro day to go through drills. Quarterback Mark Sanchez, on the other hand, said he plans to do everything and prove that he can be the number one quarterback going in the draft this year. I got to do it. I feel I feel like I want to do it. You know, I'm I'm a competitive um, competitive person. Uh, you know, I want to win, and and that's what I'm about. So uh, it'd be it'd be it would it would kill me not to throw. So do fun. Like I said, that pro style system uh, really helps with the transition. You know, while while there might be. Um, uh, different terminology, it's still the same language. Um, you know, for us, our, our protections and things like that, I'm already starting to find out that they, they cross right over. While they might have a different name and, and a lot of our route combinations and progressions in our reads, uh, I mean, just have a different name. So uh, for me, that, that's great. I've heard similar things from, from Liner, from Palmer, from Castle, from John David. Um, you know, all guys playing in the league, so I think that speaks volumes for our program and, and the quarterbacks that we produce. It's like speed dating. There's teams everywhere and they bring that meh, meh, and you switch teams it's crazy so it's good uh no no a friend told me about it oh yeah i had to do a lot of mris just to check up on my ankle uh, i had a fracture and uh the heel surgery so just making sure everything was good so it went good and uh, everything was clear Oh uh, well, I think a lot of it came uh, when I was in uh, high school. I had a heel injury uh, that I didn't know about, uh, and they called it uh, Hagelin's deformity, uh, which basically I was tearing the uh, the bone went away from my heel for a long time. Uh, a lot of people called it tendonitis. So just throughout the years, uh, I kept tearing and tearing, and finally when I got to college, it kind of caught up with me. So a lot of my injuries was uh, was due to that. So uh, as the season went on, I got to my senior year, we got we got it fixed, and uh, I didn't have any problems last year. So uh, I'm feeling real good right now. Uh, well, I did a lot, a lot of that practice. Uh, I ran the digs and, and, and the posts, but uh, as the season went on, uh, we didn't get to run that. A lot of our games were blowouts, so uh, a lot of the times they needed me to run the ball and, and do those things. But uh, I've done it a many, many times at practice, so uh, I don't think it would be a hard transition for me at practice. Uh, again, uh, at my pro day when I run my routes, uh, I'll look to show the coaches that I can do it. I want to do everything I can to be as ready as possible to play um, wherever I go. It doesn't matter. Um, if they don't feel that I'm ready to go, and I have to sit behind a veteran for a while and, and maybe learn some of the some of the things that I need to learn, then, then that's fine. But I'm going to make it as hard as I can on coaches to, to try to keep me off the field. You know, I've, I've always been one to, to want to get in there and play as, as soon as I'm ready. And, uh, you know, that's that's my plan going into wherever I play. I'm, I'm a competitive person. I love a challenge. And uh, no matter where, where I go, I'm, I'm definitely going to come in with the same attitude, try to bring, uh, you know, a winning attitude, a confidence, um, from the quarterback position that, that hopefully bleeds into the offense and, and the entire team eventually uh, that that we can get the job done no matter what, that that we can get the job done no matter you know no matter where it is absolutely that's that's what it's all about you know it's it's really about football and uh, when it comes down to it you know my my marketing guy my agent um, my financial people they work for me and if I want to get it done we can get it done and uh, that's important to me to get into camp because I I uh, I want to play football as soon as I possibly can and. Uh, that's what it's always been about for me. It's what it'll always be about. Um, obviously, you got to work out a contract to, to get things going wherever, with whoever it is that, that may draft me. But uh, you know, it's it's important to me, and uh, and that's what I want to be doing is, is getting into camp and, and getting with the guys and working and, and trying to get as ready as possible. Uh, the first impression is very important, and in these 15 minute interviews, I do believe a team can get the feel for me, feel how I, I think low key and humble I try to be, and that I am. And you know, hopefully that's the kind of guy they would want on their club. Uh, you know, I think you know that's the kind of the kind of guy I was raised to be, and I would think that's the kind of guy a team would want. Oh uh, yes, yes you can. With the 15 minute intervals I had with uh, the coaches last night, you know, I can tell different coaches, you know, the different characteristics, and you know, it's it's just great experience. Uh, growing up, I looked up to a wide receiver Jerry Rice. And, of course, you know, I was living in San Antonio. I was always looking at the Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl. I think my Shrine game performance uh, helped me out and I guess, my draft stock. But I didn't do anything that I haven't been doing before. So i just been being myself, playing football, doing what I've done at Rice. So I don't think I've done anything different in the Shrine game that I've done, haven't done before. Yeah, I think that, you know, growing up in a household with my, with my father who's been doing it, you know, for such a long time, that's uh, definitely how I, how I approached it. And obviously, uh, you know, being that I'm able to, to play the game that I love, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely fun to have this opportunity that not a lot of people have. But at the same time, uh, I mean, this is a business, and you know, we are here doing uh, our job interviews. Uh, you know, I just expect to, to take advantage of every opportunity that I have, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna work out Sunday and uh, you know do everything. And I think that 
you know, it's an opportunity that, that not a lot of people have. So for me to come here and have a chance to, to do it in front of all of these coaches, in front of all of these scouts, I'm going to try to, you know, to maximize that.